I think it's been about two weeks since we wrapped up phase one of the parsley potting soil project. And the conclusion of the phase one was that miracle Grow and Lampert Garden Soil were the stars. And they're still the stars. Not a big surprise, but uh, just acknowledging that topsoil is sort of chugging along. Kellogg also sort of chugging along. Dr. Earth, a little bit better. So phase two is the effect of fertilizer on all of these plants and potting soils. And for this experiment, we're going to leave one row all the way across. First row will be control, no added fertilizer. And then the other four rows will be a different fertilizer. Of course, it's going to be the same one in row two all the way across, but each tray will have four different fertilizers and one row that is a control with no added fertilizer. And for our fertilizer selection, we have organic garden tone for herbs and vegetables. And that's a 344 food. It has other nutrients in it also. Osmocote, which is slow release, but this is old Osmocote, so I think it's going to be a little quicker release. That it uh, was rated for five to six months, uh, release, controlled release for that, but it's old. Uh, and it was rated as 15912. Uh, Ironite, which is rated as 766. And not only does it have nitrogen and phosphate and potash, uh, but it also has magnesium, sulfur, boron, copper, iron, manganese, and molybdenum, and a little bit of zinc. And then we have some fresh uh, fertilizer that is uh, controlled release also, and it's got a lot of good stuff in it. Nitrogen, it's uh, uh, 8212. Uh, which is nitrogen and phosphate and potash uh, being the 8212 part and also has magnesium, manganese, zinc, iron, sulfur, boron, and uh, molybdenum. So we're going to do a heaping half teaspoon full of each of these fertilizers in each of the designated pots. So here we go. So this first row all the way across is going to be the Osmocote. So row two. Our slow release spectrum stuff. Okay, number three, Ironite. Okay, row four.
All right, our half teaspoon project is over. So most of the fertilizers really didn't heap up. And so it's very close to a flat teaspoonful of fertilizer all the way through. And we'll just keep our eye on these plants and see what works best. So here we are two and a half weeks later and wrapping up the Parsley Potting Soil Project, phase two. And of course phase two was testing different fertilizers on our parsley plants. So what I have learned from this phase is that for the larger plants, the ones in Lambert and miracle grow. Not only did they start out bigger at the two and a half weeks, but surprise, surprise, they're still bigger than the rest. Um, but the adding the fertilizer to these plants didn't seem to make much difference in either their size or their color, the you know, color of their leaves and such. But where we did see the impact was in the smaller plants. And, you know, Dr. Earth, Kellogg, and the topsoil, these plants were you know, much smaller, but you can see that there's a definite difference in the first three rows of each of these trays. And that is because we have the Osmocote, the 8212, and the Ironite that are making these plants larger and greener. The impact of the organic fertilizer was fairly minimal and of course we have the control group. Another thing I'd like to note is that the Lambert garden soil uh, required more water than the rest of these soils. It seemed to dry out quickly, the plants would wilt, I'd water it uh, and of course you know sprinkle the rest of the, the uh, plants at the same time. But that's something that you should be aware of because it, if you go out of town for a few days you might come back to dead plants. It's really meant for a garden soil and not a potting soil. But it was effective at germinating and uh, growing the parsley plants. And the last thing I'd like to note is that we had two rows of each tray that had a lot more seeds in them than the last row. I was impatient and added more parsley seeds, ones that I had soaked overnight in warm water to hasten the germination. So I added those to existing seeded pots. And so what happened was in the trays that have the larger plants, this last row has plants that are a lot larger than the first row, and this is the same fertilizer and same potting soil and everything. The difference between these two plants is that this pot had fewer seeds than this pot. And you can see, I'm gonna take this right over to you. You can see that, that the this pot here of parsley is just a lot, the leaves are bigger and the plants are bigger than this one. And so from this experience, I can strongly recommend that you don't plant more than 10 or 12 seeds in a pot like this. Planting 10 to 12 seeds in a pot gives you larger, better looking uh, individual plants than planting a whole bunch of seeds in a pot. So if you're planting in a pot this size, it looks like 10 to 12 seeds would be perfect. So it's been about two months since we planted these seeds and already for the miracle Grow and the Lampert, we have plants that are ready to give as gifts. It, parsley is just a great herb to have around the house and it does well in the ground or in a pot. I'm looking forward to using this, uh, some of these plants for my own use and I'm also looking forward to being able to give away a lot of these plants to friends. So 
Consider growing parsley. It's easy and you will be happy to have a good supply of fresh herbs.